Welcome to this gentle routine to relieve tension from the head, neck, and shoulders. This one should be good for migraines, headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, or otherwise anything where there's energy stuck in the upper body and the head area. We're practicing here next to this beautiful river in the mountains of Idaho, USA. Join me with your feet under your shoulders, typical Qigong stance. Just take a nice deep breath. We'll begin with knocking on the door of life. There's a little variation where we're going to slap over the shoulder, slapping the trapezius area. The back hand's coming to the lower back as we turn from the hips and waist, giving the low back a little massage, giving the neck and shoulder area a massage. We're just helping to free up the energy in these locations. Let's take some nice deep breaths through your nose, in and out. Let's loosen up the body, free up the flow of energy. Keep our feet planted here and turn around our spine. This gives the spine a little twist as well. Bring it back down to the belly. And then just start to wave your hands in the air around you, still turning from the hips, waist, and spine. Let your shoulders relax and just let your fingers comb through the air like you're brushing the surface of a lake with your fingertips. Take a few slow, deep nasal breaths. And then return to the center. We're going to move our chest, pulling the chest forward, sinking the chest back. We're just kind of trying to move and articulate our rib cage here, forward and back. Just working the range of motion in the upper spine here. And then going side to side, shifting the chest and rib cage. Notice my hips are staying locked in one spot as are my legs. And I'm just shifting the chest, the articulation here at the waist. We're not leaning left and right, it's a shift, keeping level. I'm just going to free up the flow of energy throughout the upper body. And then we'll turn this into a circle going back, side, forward, side, back. Just move your chest and rib cage in a circle. Motion is lotion, so when we move the body in Qigong, we free up the smooth, fluid-like movement of energy. Go the other direction. Again, try to keep your hips and legs and lower body in one spot. Circle the chest around that stationary axis of the hips. Good, back to the center. Let's do a few head turns. You can have your hands on your hips. Let's find that full range of motion, trying to get that chin over the shoulder. Just loosen up the neck. And then a few head circles. This is slow and controlled. Keep a nice long neck. Reach through the crown of your head to keep that neck nice and long and strong. And go the other direction. Free up the flow of energy in the neck. If you're dealing with headaches, we think of that in Chinese medicine as energy being stuck in the head or energy rising excessively rather than sinking. So we want to open up the neck so that energy can sort of drain. Now shifting the head side to side, sort of like we were doing with the ribs keeping your neck and shoulders, or sorry, your shoulders and chest in one spot as the head shifts. Then pulling the head back and forward. Think of the chin leading this motion. Again, my chest and shoulders stay right where they are. And 
Looking a bit like a turtle here. It's kind of funny to watch. And then find a circle with that. Going back, side, forward, side, back, side. Again, the head staying level, just like we did with the ribs. We're not leaning or tilting. We're just circling and keeping things level. Go the other direction. I'm sure this is great for some sort of dance technique. As you can see, very challenging to keep the shoulders and chest stationary here, but do your best. Come back to the center. We'll do the same thing with the jaw. You're going to shift your jaw left and right. I have my fingers here just to show you. Feel welcome to touch your jaw with your fingers. If it helps you feel it, but it's not required. And forwards and backwards. And then turning that into a circle. Back, side, forward, side. Back, side, forward, side. Other direction. A lot of the tension in the head can be stored in the jaw because we have such powerful muscles in the jaw. They can really hold a lot of our tension, both physical tension and, of course, emotional tension. Let's just find a little massage for those jaw muscles. Use your fingertips. Find those big muscles at the base of the jaw. Give them some firm circles. And then using your first finger, just curl the finger and use the flat part of the finger to press from the center of the brow out to the temples. Just squeezing out any tension or stuck fluids there. Also very good for the sinus glands up here. And do some circles at the temples, above the ears, back of the skull. And then we're going to interlace the fingers and use our thumbs, having the palms on the back of the skull, using our thumbs at the base of the skull, just following in those little connections where the neck muscles connect up into the base of the skull. And just do firm circles with your thumbs, walking up and down. Then we're going to do it with a forward fold. So you're going to bend your knees, fold your chest over your thighs, let your head hang, and here just massage into the back of the neck, particularly around the base of the skull with your thumbs. Of course, if this exacerbates a headache or anything like that, then feel free to stay standing for this. This is mostly just because it helps release those muscles. Good. Release the hands, roll up if you were down. Back to the center, very nice. This next one is a stretch. We're going to hold a chi ball at the belly, then open our palms out to the sides and turn the head over one shoulder. Back to the chi ball. This is called the owl turns its head. Open your palms out to the sides. Thumbs point behind you. Fingers pull down as you turn the head. Back to the center, holding a ball in front of the belly. Point your thumbs behind you. Turn your chin over the shoulder. Back to the center. Let's do a few with breath. We're going to inhale into the stretch. Open our wings. Turn our head. Exhale back to the center. Inhale, open. This is too slow for you. Feel free to go at your own pace. Exhale, center. There's a few more. We find this sort of like a moving meditation. Slow, deep breaths, calming the nervous system as we stretch. Exhale, center. Inhale. Exhale. Notice how as I inhale, I lift the chest. I stand tall, lift the ribs up a bit. And as we exhale, the chest sinks, the ribs lower. This is giving a little massage as well to the internal organs. Using our ribs and chest to compress and decompress the internal organs. A 
Really nice exercise to open the arms, neck, shoulders, jaw, and slow the breath. Okay, let's come back to the center. We'll do an exercise called loosening. We're going to lift the elbows, lift the shoulders up to the ears, then drop the shoulders and elbows, and drop the hands. Lift elbows, lift shoulders. We get tense in the neck and shoulders. Then we relax as we drop. So tense up the neck and shoulders. And relax to drop. Now dropping one hand behind the back, one hand in front. Tense up to draw up. Drop the hands, relax. Now we notice there's a little shift and turn here too. The hand that's swinging in front of the body, you're going to shift to the leg on that side. You're also going to turn to the side of the hand going behind the body. So the hand in front, you shift that way. The hand behind, you turn that way. We have a little bounce in our legs as we do this. And no need to match the breath with this one. Just breathe naturally through the nose. Of course, you're always welcome to breathe through the mouth in Qigong if your nose is completely congested. Right here, just really focus on the tensing and relaxing of the trapezius muscles, the muscles that pull the shoulders up to the ears. Tense, relax. Tense, relax. Back to the center. Sometimes that contrast, feeling the tension, can actually help the relaxation ability. All right, next one is called Stork Spreads the Feathers, another really nice stretch. This one to open up the back of the arms up to the back of the neck. So you're going to circle the hands in front of you, then pull the fingers down, reach up with the crown of the head as you tuck the chin. Circle in front, pull the hands down with the palms facing behind you, tuck your chin, circle, stretch. And then we're going to take that stretch up to the side of the neck, holding the stretch on the arms, leaning the head to one side, giving the head a slow nod over the shoulder. Come over to the other side. Nodding the head slowly over the shoulder. These can be really nice to link with some deep breaths. Inhale as you roll back. Exhale as you roll forward. Continuing to find that inner calm as we stretch. All this physical stuff to release tension in the upper body is amazing, but also the nervous system and emotions play a big part in headaches, migraines, chronic pain. We'll come back to the center and do the other direction. So now we're trying to stretch down the inside of the arms, turning the palms outwards. We circle behind ourselves, spiral, and then pull the fingers down as the palms turn outwards. So similar to the owl, but our emphasis is on the fingers pulling down more than the thumb spiraling back. Trying to pull the stretch down the inside of the arms. And then we'll hold the stretch and lean the head over to one side again. Nod the head slowly over the shoulder, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Let that stretch come up from the inside of one arm up to the side of the neck. Roll back and forth through the neck. Over to the other side. Slow, deep breaths. Very nice. 
This next one is called the anchor drops to the sea floor. We're going to start by dropping our head, then rounding our upper back. Let your arms get heavy like anchors sinking to the sea floor. Mid back rounds, finally low back releases. And we just let those anchors carry us all the way down till they're just above the sea floor or the floor floor. Let's pause there. Nice deep breath. Try to release the muscles along your back and neck. This one is sometimes a good idea to just watch the first time. Just because you won't be able to see me when you're looking at your toes. And then to come up, we're going to try to do the opposite. Coming up first from the lower back, tucking the tailbone. Feel the spine stacking one vertebra at a time from the tailbone to the low back, mid back, upper back, shoulders, neck, and finally the head. We're going to do this one three times today. So here, let's pause, take a deep breath or two in between. Just get uh, re in touch with your body. Relax. Let's do it again here, dropping the chin, let the neck round. Shoulders, upper back, as anchors get heavy. Mid back, low back. All the way, the hips bend. So the anchors are just above the floor. Hold here, breathe. Try to relax the back muscles, back of the neck as well shoulders, mid-back, low-back, everything releasing. Then to come up, tuck your tailbone, keep the head dropped, the shoulders dropped. Find your spine stacking from the tailbone and sacrum up through the low-back, mid-back, upper-back, shoulders, neck, head. And then try to relax onto that nicely stacked spine. Just stand and breathe. We'll do one more in a moment. And again, letting the chin drop, neck round. Anchors begin to drop. Those hands heavy. Upper back, mid back, low back, hips. Relax into the gentle back stretch. If you feel any pinching or anything slipping in your back, you're really going to want to take it easy on this one. Maybe skip it all together until your back's a little healthier. You want to be careful with our spine always. And stacking it again, tucking the tailbone, rolling up. Stack, 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 one vertebra at a time, all the way up to the neck, stacking each vertebra over the neck, one vertebra at a time, until the head sits with ease on top of the spine. Float your crown then, sink your tailbone, take a deep breath. Okay, this next one, take a big breath in, fists come up, around, in front of the chest, elbows press on your belly will make the liver sound. Shh. Clearing stagnant chi from the liver and gallbladder channels. Again, inhale, open up. Bring it in front, make the liver sound, S-H. Shh. Squeezing out frustration, stress, anger, jealousy. Big inhale. Exhale the liver sound. Shh. All the parts of us that are rigid, snapping off like the rigid old branches of a tree. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press down. Release. Take your arms around. Drop again, inhale. Exhale, press down, help the chi to sink. Sometimes when the liver chi is aggravated, our chi tends to rise too much, like trees growing towards the sky. Let's turn to one side now, draw up all the way over the head.
turn to the center and float your hands out to the side again with the liver sound. Arms come around at the bottom, turn to the other side, slow inhale through the nose, all the way to the top of the head, turn to the center, and the liver sound. I'll repeat that one a few times on each side, long inhales as we come up, letting out that gentle SH sound with the lips slightly pursed as though we were about to say shoo. Nice long slow breaths. And you can think of the sound like the wind through the leaves of a tree snapping off the old dead twigs leaving behind what is fresh and supple flexible. In Greek mythology the Cyclops is the mythological creature that represents anger because the Cyclops only has one eye so it sees from a very narrow perspective you can only see one thing at a time and this is sort of like how we are when we're stressed or angry our mind becomes tunnel visioned we get hyper focused on one way of seeing things perhaps seeing how somebody's wronged us or how something is somebody else's fault but in Taoism, they teach that the tree that lives the longest and grows the tallest is the tree that can yield, yield to the storms, be flexible and supple. So we want our mind and our perspective to be like that too, able to take in new perspectives, to be flexible, yielding, open to new ideas, new ways of seeing. And we open up this lens of the mind when we let that lens dilate. It can really help relieve that chi pressure in the head, neck and shoulders. Let's come back to the center, take an inhale and just exhale through the nose now as we press down and helping the chi to sink and settle. Come to the center, just feel your body. Take a deep breath or two. Float the crown, sink the tailbone. Now we're going to step out just a little wider than shoulders, not quite a horse stance, just a little wider stance. We're going to begin to shift left and right, our palms like they're skimming over the surface of a lake. This one is called the koi fish in the pond. It's a nice one to smooth out the chi and to sink and settle chi from the upper body and head. So adding to this exercise, one at a time the fish are going to jump out of the pond. So let's take our right hand here, draw across the pond, come up over the head like the fish jumping out of the pond, landing back in the water over on the right. Both fish swim over to the left, swim back to the right. Now the left fish is getting ready to jump. Comes up about level with the forehead, lands back in the water. In this one, you can really just breathe naturally through your nose, in and out. Don't have to match the movement on this one. You just keep alternating which hand is coming up and over. You paint across the lake twice in between. Again, up and over, alternating arms. And the intention you can have here is that as the hands are coming across the lake, like we're really just getting grounded. And as we come up, it's like we're grabbing the energy from the head and the upper body, and then taking it and pushing it down, helping it to sink, ground into the earth, be calm and tranquil like the lake. Up and over, grab that any excessive rising chi or heat from the head or upper body, ground it into the earth, cool it with the lake. And that weight 
should shift each way, whatever direction your hands move. Notice my the weight is shifting with them. Again, giving that grounding feeling. And just back to back and forth with the hands, skimming the lake, grounding and settling. Put the feet back about shoulder width. Inhale, drop to the chest. Turn the palms down. Exhale, push gently down. Three times. Inhale. In through the nose and out through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Calming and settling. Sinking the chi. And draw your hands all the way up for pulling down the sky. Bend the elbows. Hands come in. Exhale. Drawing down. Scan your mind through your body. Down out the feet into the earth. Inhale. Hands float up. Exhale, body scan, head, chest, belly, hips, legs, feet, earth, inhale, exhale, and as usual, if this is too slow for your breath, feel free to move a little quicker, relax to the center, just feel your body again. Watch your breath. Slowly step your feet in close together. Hold your hands over the lower abdomen. Allow yourself to rock and sway like a pine tree on a mountainside. Moving gently with the wind. Bones light and floating, your muscles melting, softening, and sinking. Your chi circulating as easily as the wind through the valley. Slowly step back out. Circle the belly clockwise. Digest the chi. Bring it into the vital organs. This life force energy, wherever that is, sure feels good. So make sure to keep some of it in here. Especially here at the lower Dantian, just below your navel, settle it in there. Pause. Anchor your breath there. Anchor the mind. And then fold the hands into prayer, bring that up to the chest. And just having a little intention, whatever shifts we've had in our energy, hopefully they've been positive. Just setting some intention for where we want to take that energy. If you have someone or something you pray to, that might be a good time to connect. And as usual, release whenever you're ready with a big sigh, letting that energy spread. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I really hope that helped. If you've been experiencing headaches or migraines, if you seem to get those on a regular basis, I recommend trying to do this type of routine uh, on a regular basis, even when you're not getting those headaches, just for a little while, maybe a couple months, just trying to reset the chi to help it sink and move out of the head and release that tension. 
As usual, if you love my work, leave a comment, like, subscribe, of course, to the channel so you see new videos. And if you really love my Qigong, you might love my Qigong teacher training, 12-week online course. We do it a couple times a year, so just check out my website in the description if you're interested in becoming a Qigong teacher or just deepening your practice. You can always do that with me over this 12-week intensive program that's all online and really fun. You get to meet people from all sorts of different countries and everything while you're at it, so it's a good time. Either way, thanks for joining me. I'm Nick Loffrey. See you next time.